Hello, in this video we will be looking at the genome of a Bronze Age woman from Iran who belonged to the Hajj Firuz cluster. Let's get into it. Here is her predicted phenotype with Nashakot, which is a tool that I developed myself, and her predicted phenotype with YSEC. Uh, YSEC predicts her to have blue eyes, but my Nashakot predicts her to have blue eyes with an amber center. Here is her predicted phenotype with Snipper Free, which predicts her to have uh, blue eyes, blonde hair, and light skin. She was heterozygous for the warrior gene, which means she carried one warrior allele and one warrior allele, which is a pretty common genotype for Europeans. She was most likely lactose intolerant and did not have the European lactose persistence allele. She did not have derived OXTR, which is most common in East Asians and is the closest we have to a sociopath gene which she did not have. She had a very European genotype in DRD2, uh, which makes her less susceptible to schizophrenia and more likely to be a no-go learner. She had a reduced risk of male pattern baldness. She did not have the European genetic variation that protects against myopia. She did not have derived EDAR, which is a gene implicated in East Asian phenotype. She had a very high susceptibility to Crohn's disease. She also had a very high susceptibility to type 2 diabetes. She had an average susceptibility to Parkinson's disease. She also had an average susceptibility to schizophrenia and bipolar. Now let's move on to her GED match results. This is her result with Eurogenes K13. Notice how much North Atlantic and Baltic she scores. I was surprised by how much Northern European ancestry this woman had. According to the Eurogenes K13 oracle, she can be represented as a mixture between North Caucasians and North Europeans. This is her result with the PunDNA LK10 calculator. According to the PunDNA LK10 oracle, she can be represented as a mixture between Iranians and Central Europeans. This is her result with Eurogenes K36. According to the Eurogenes K36 oracle, she can be represented as a mixture between North Caucasians and Slavic people. Here are her maps based on those uh, K36 results. This is her result with MDLPK11 calculator. According to this calculator's oracle, she could be represented as a mixture between Armenian Bronze Age and uh, European Bronze Age in the Europeans. And here is who this sample is closest to in G25. You can see it's closest to uh, natives of Dagestan in the Northern Caucasus and it can be modeled as a mixture between Caucasian people and Icelandic and Polish people. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. The link to download this file in 23andMe format will be in the description.